all over the country, hundreds of thousands of scam phone calls target anyone who might be convinced that if they just transfer a few thousand dollars, they'll get a big prize. Well, experts tell us once you pay up, you'll never get that prize and you'll never see the money ever again. The phone rang and I answered it. The voice on the other end told Marilyn Sublet she had won a prize, money, and a new car. The only thing she needed to do was pay taxes on it and cover the cost to ship the car to her house. And don't worry about it. You're going to get your money and all of this and everything. Just do what we tell you to do, how we tell you to do it. Marilyn sent nearly $4,000 to scammers in Jamaica, including taking out a nearly $1,500 loan from PNC Bank to get the money. Marilyn's niece, Risha Evans, tried to help once it became clear it was all a scam. Your money is gone. Security expert Tim Dimoff tells me the FBI and Secret Service have recovered some money that was sent overseas in scams, but generally only get involved when it's more than a million dollars. He says scams like the one Marilyn fell for happen so often, federal agents just can't help. There's small amounts of money. If it goes overseas, you have, you've got almost zero chance of getting that money recovered. Before the money is gone for good, we found there are limited safeguards along the way. PNC tells me they have procedures in place to try to identify if a customer is the victim of a scam. Western Union and Walmart, where Maryland transferred the money, also say they try to help. They have a moral and ethical duty in a lot of people's minds to at least warn a person or engage them in conversation and ask some key questions. But Dimoff says if a customer wants to take out a loan or send money, those businesses have to let you do it. He says that means the best way to stop the scams is to make sure enough people know how common they are. And I think the banks overall make a very good effort. We really need to educate the general public about this. PNC, Western Union, and Walmart wouldn't share exactly what their policies are. Experts say that's to try to keep scammers away from finding a way around any effort to stop them. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. A local woman thought she won $4 million. Instead, she lost a huge portion of her life savings trying to claim that prize. It's not the first time we've heard about a phone scam like this one. But the dollar amount is shocking this time. News 4 investigator Chris Nagus now on how to protect you, your money, and your family. In November, she was told that she was a winner of the Publishers Clearinghouse uh, contest. Barb Fish of Bell Noor still can't believe it. Her 91-year-old mother-in-law, Kareen, was swindled out of a huge chunk of her life savings. And it all started with a phone call. He got her to trust him explicitly. She told him her life story. Fish says her mother-in-law thought she was paying taxes to claim her prize. From November until February, she wrote check after check. 20,000, 1,300, 10,000, 15,000, 30,000, and there's more. In fact, there's lots more. 25,000, another 30. Fish says her mother-in-law sent the scammers nearly $250,000. When you say that number out loud, what is your thought behind that? Oh, it's devastating. She is just, now that she knows that it wasn't for real, she's just devastated. In some cases, Fish says her mother-in-law actually withdrew cash and mailed it off, close to 10 grand. She's frustrated the bank didn't stop her. I think it's horrible. When, when you have uh, elderly people that trust you and you don't question or try and, you know, um, find out more information, I, I think it's, it's wrong. Publishers Clearinghouse recognizes the problem and even talks about these scams on its website. They warn consumers not to send any money to prepay taxes, and they will only notify winners of a prize via mail or in person, not over the phone. When Fish and her husband figured out the ruse, they had their mother's phone calls forwarded to their cell number. Fish says her husband told the scammers to stop, and it got personal. You've done enough damage. Just, you know, stop calling. And he says, oh, go sit by your daughter's grave and cry about it. So he knew that we had lost a daughter. The bad guys knew Corrine's banking information and even her family's life story. The Fish family is going public because they don't want another family to be vulnerable or fall victim. Barb says watch your elderly family members' finances closely, even if it's too late for them. Do you think you'll ever see any of this money? No. No, I don't. Barb Fish tells me they have now called the FBI. The money and the checks, they were mailed to multiple addresses all over the nation, but many of the calls originated from an 876 area code, which is Jamaica. In the past, experts have told us not to answer an 876 area code phone number if you don't recognize it. 
If you have a scam or ripoff you want me to investigate, send me an email or a message through my KMOV Facebook page. Chris Nagus, News 4. Hey everybody, Joe Scambade here. Uh, yeah, I know it was really tough to uh, watch those two cases with those two elderly women. Uh, it makes you angry that there are people out there that will do this. So please, educate your elderly, educate some naive people, educate yourselves, don't fall for any kind of a scam that you have to pay anything in advance. That goes for gift cards, MoneyGram, Western Union, nothing ever in advance. And if you ever did win something, you probably get something in the mail that's legitimate. Um, or they will come to your house. Or it's not true. So in this next audio is several, several, several phone calls done with a publisher's clearinghouse scammer. I dealt with two different guys. There was a, a Mr. David Anderson and a Mr. David Sawyer. So uh, grab yourself a little snack, sit down, go wash the kitchen floor, go take a drive, because this is just an audio, and I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, thank you, everybody, for all the support out there. Hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I will be back soon doing live streams. I just want my streams to be good. It's been very difficult to get phone numbers and to keep something going because they're changing them very fast right now. And with the lockdown and with what's going on in the world, it's uh, they're, they're being cautious too. But I will be back soon, everybody. Enjoy the audio. Yes, hi. Um, I got some sort of message that I, I, I want to prize. Yes, this is the Publishers Clearinghouse. Oh, oh, Publishers Clearinghouse. You mean I won? Uh, could you provide me back with your name? Uh, yeah, my, my first name is Haywood. Oh my goodness, what, what did I win? Your first name is Haywood? Haywood, yeah, H-A-Y-W-O-O-D. Let me just pull up your phone. Hold on the line, okay? Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Well, I wonder if I won something good. My publisher's clearing house is... Huh. This could be something special. Hello? Is somebody still there? Hello? Yeah, hold on a minute. Oh, I, I'm... A slow, okay? I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just really excited. I, I never, I never won anything before. I do understand, and I, 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 I do believe that you want something. That's the, that's the reason why you got a call. But I'm just making sure, okay? Uh, yes. Okay. And could you remind me of your first and your last name again? Uh, yes, my first. And your last name? Yes, my first name is Haywood. H A Y W O O D. Yes, and your last name? Uh, it's Jablomi. J-A-B-L-O-W-M-E. Yep. I'm sorry? Could you please repeat the spelling of your last name? Yeah, it's J-A-B-L... H-A... No, J as in John. Okay, go ahead. A as in Apple. Mm -hmm. B as in Boy. Mm -hmm. L as in Lima, O as in Oscar, W as in Whiskey, M as in Mary, E as in Echo, Jablomi, Haywood Jablomi. Oh, it's Jablomi. Yes, Haywood Jablomi. All right, just hold on, please. Okay. Huh. Oh, my goodness. I hope it's something good. I hope this is life-changing. If I won. Okay. Yes. Uh... Uh, what I see here, I see where, yes, you are a second place winner, but I 
just to make sure the confirmation of what is your zip code? Uh, 03848. Kingston, New Hampshire. 03848. 03848. Yeah, it's Kingston, New Hampshire. King, and that's Kingston, New Hampshire. Correct. Okay, hold on, please. Second prize. Oh, wow, I wonder what that is. <sighs> Hello? Yes, I I'm here, sir. I'm here. Yes. Uh, just to let you know, I have some wonderful news for you. Oh, my goodness. You are a lucky winner of. Two point five million dollars. What? That's are, are, you a, are, you, are you are you are you serious? This isn't a joke. I'm. This is not a joke, sir. I'm not pulling your leg. Oh my this god. Oh oh my god. Joke. Hold on a minute. Hold on it. Oh. Uh huh. Did you just say two point two point how much? Two point five million dollars, sir. And Holy that's not sh. All. Oh oh my. Oh, oh praise be. Oh, you don't know. You don't. You don't know what what, what that can that that's gonna do for my life right now. Oh my God! Hold on, I sir. I know exactly what it could do to your life, sir. Oh. I know exactly what it's gonna be doing to your life. It's gonna change your life forever. That's what I know. Oh my God! And uh, you also won five thousand dollars weekly for life. On top of the two point five million. Yes, sir. And plus, you will be getting a 2020 S-Class Mercedes Benz. Uh, uh, oh my God! God, I, I'm I'm in shock right now. I, I'm I, I'm in shock. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm sorry. Uh, wow. No, oh, I've been living in poverty for so long and struggling. Oh. So what what wow what what do I do next? Oh my goodness! All right, what I'm gonna do first thing first, I want to ask you a couple of questions before we go in the first. Sure. Okay. Yes. Oh my uh, goodness! I have to fill out your I have to fill out your PDF form. All right. Oh, okay. All right. So first thing first, you said uh. Your name is Mr. Awood. I want you to spell it over the recording system slowly. Uh, yes, it's H A Y W O O D. Mm -hmm. Last name is J A W J A B L O W M E. Hey, would you blow me? I can't believe I got this. And and state your address. Uh, thirty one, Main Street, Kingston, New Hampshire. Zero three eight four eight. Oh my goodness! I, I'm I'm shaking, sir. I, I'm 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 I'm. I, I don't know what to say here. I'm so happy. I can't believe this is happening to me. And it's better you sit down, sir, okay? And repeat oh. back your zip code. Uh, 03848. And this is the only phone number you have? Yes, this is my this is my only phone number. I, I used to live in Massachusetts, but now I'm in New Hampshire. Okay. And... uh. Can you, and what is your, and are you married, single, widow, or divorced? Uh, no, I, I, I am, I have a partner. Yes, I, I have a partner. Um, okay. yes, I, I live with my partner for many years. She's, she's very, she's like a wife. But she's not home right now. She's going to be so excited when she gets home. Okay. And do you, uh, and do you? And you said you live at your partner's home? Yes, yes, we have a home we share together, yes. And are you currently working the same or retired? Um, I, I'm working, I'm working, but I, I work at the McDonald's, and I, 
I used to work for a big company and I got injured and I, I couldn't work for the company no more. So I, I, I went to McDonald's thinking maybe I could get a managerial position. Uh, but right right now, I, I am assistant to the assistant manager right now. So, you know, it's not a very high paying job. Oh, I understand. And are you uh, a current credit card holder? Um, yes, I, I have a credit card for emergencies, correct? Okay, and uh, do you owe any money on that credit card? Um, no, no. Like I said, I, I would only use it for an emergency, you know? Okay, I, I understand. All right. So, uh, have you drive your own vehicle? Uh, yes, I, uh, I, I, well, I, I share a vehicle with my, with my partner. Okay, I understand. Alrighty. And your partner, is, it, is your partner how home or it's rented? Oh, no, we, we own the home. Okay. Alrighty, sir. Well, just to let you know, sir, you are definitely, definitely a true millionaire. Oh my goodness! Uh, will be coming over. So what I'm going to be doing? What I'm going to be doing? I'm going to let you talk to my manager, and he's going to give you the details pertaining to uh, what you're supposed to do in order to receive your package and so forth. Okay? Oh, oh my goodness! Yes, okay. His name is Mr. Dave Sawyer. David Sawyer. Hold on. Let me. Let me David, write. Let me write David. this down. David Sawyer. David Sawyer. Okay. It's Dave Sawyer. Okay. Okay. All right. I want you to please hold on the line, and he will further give you the details pertaining to how you could go about uh, claiming your prize. Because what what happened is your prize was scheduled to be de delivered by this evening. So I want to see how fast uh, things to get process to get through so that you can get to receive because you may be able to get to receive your prize today. Okay. Oh my goodness, uh, I I I'm beside myself right now. All right, so just hold on the line for a bit. All right. Okay. Hello, hi, pleasant. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, hi, hi. Uh, this is Haywood. Is this Mr. David Sawyer? Yeah, Dave, not David. David oh, I'm sorry, David. Dave. Okay, Dave. Yeah, I want to take the time out to say a warm congratulations in regard of your fortune or what you have won yourself. Oh my goodness, and I'm I'm so happy. I understand because I've been working for this company for 18 years now and I see how our company has changed a lot of winners life and you're one of them but the only thing what we're going to be required right now is just cooperation and did my agent explain to you what you have won yourself? Oh my goodness yes he, he said uh, uh, I'm so excited Five, uh, 2.5 million and 5,000 a week and a, and a car, I, 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 I never had this kind of stuff. I struggle. I, I work at McDonald's as an assistant to the assistant assistant manager, and uh, I don't make much money. And my, 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 my wife partner friend, um, she, she works very hard, too, at, at the laundromat. Um, she's, a, she's, she's a dryer checker at the laundromat, and we've been struggling. And this is going to change our lives. I understand. That's the reason why they say nothing beats prior and God always on time. You understand? Um, yes. Yeah, because what is going to be done, you going to be receiving your prize and your new wife is going to be so happy. There's nothing for you both to be worried about right now. Ooh. Worried? Why, why, uh, I'm not worried. Why, why would you bring that up? I'm not worried. 
No, I'm saying you and your wife don't need to be worried because you both are in good hands like you're in the Lord's hands. What you have to do is just keep your business confidential because you know this is large amount of money coming over your way right now. And you know that money breaks friends and money builds friendship, okay? Oh, yes, I, I, I know about that. I would never change my personality or who I am because of money. Uh, I, I've seen that happen to to people before when they get some some good fortune they their attitudes in life change for the worse they don't care about people anymore they only care about greed and money oh i understand and you know as well that once you won over sixty thousand dollars the irs and the fbi they're going to be getting involved i'm, I'm sorry i'm IRS sorry you said no uh, uh, did you just say the the fbi now, um, let me explain. The FBI part means because what we send out or receive is being monitored to protect our American citizens. There's nothing for you to be worried about the FBI right now, okay? Well, no, I, I understand I have to pay tax on my winnings. I, yeah. I do understand that very much so yeah. because that, that, that is part of being an American. Yeah, all right. And you know some fun out of your tax maybe they required a small payment up front and after you receive your prize you pay the remaining but we have all of your papers work and documents already being packed over to their department so we are waiting on them to um to get back to us to um, inform us how, like how much your tax is going to be because our company is going to be taking care of 98 percent out of your taxes there's only going to be two percent what is going to be remaining for you to be taken care of. And as what I said, out of your 2%, you could just have your name being registered and after you receive your prize, you could pay the remaining balance. Do you understand? Well, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, my, my brother-in-law my brother is, is, a, is a, uh, a, a very, very accredited accountant, and, and I'm, sure, I'm sure that he will... I'll figure out the taxes and what I have to do because he's he, he's an accountant. Oh, that is wonderful because you know after you receive your prize, then uh, you could go to your brother and then um, you guys could figure out balance on how you're going to make the payment to the IRS, okay? Well, uh, yes, I'm yes. Honest. I'm sure I'll have to figure out a winnings form. Yeah, so... No, we already have the form being submitted. That's the reason why my agent asked you all those questions, to have those being stated on the recording line, so we could have it being sent over. So after you state in the recording line, we fill out the form for you and have it being faxed over to their department. So we are just waiting on them to send us the fact of how much your tax is going to be, so we'll let you know how much you're going to be able to be paid up front. Well, what, 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 is the percent, what is the percentage rate on the tax? On, 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 what is the percentage rate for, for the taxes on the 2.5 million? I know uh, I would have to pay separate tax yeah, remember, on the 500. Yeah, on remember the, is what I explained to you that all of your, two out of your taxes, our company is going to take care of mine to 8%. Eight so it's only going to be two percent. So it's going to be a drop in the bucket for what you're going to be paid. But what we need to do, I'm, as soon as I ask with them to see how much the two percent is going to be. So also from there, we let you know how much can you pay it up front. So when you receive your prize, you could pay the remaining balance. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. What, what, do you, what do you mean pay up front? I don't know what you mean by that. All right. All right. Say for instance. Down the IRS said a two percent tax. It is for eight thousand. Maybe what they would be doing, they would want you to pay like say nine hundred and fifty dollars to get your prize being registered and be delivered to you. And after you receive your prize, you pay the remaining taxes. You understand? Well, I mean, I mean, shouldn't I get the full prize and then it's my? It, I, 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 I'm, I'm very, I'm very confused now with. I'm very confused with having to pay. You say I have to pay nine hundred and fifty dollars. No, I I don't know how much you're gonna be paid. I'm waiting for all uh, forty facts from the IRS. So give us about say forty five minutes. 
then we could have everything being alert for you so you could receive your prize tomorrow at 12 o'clock, okay? Okay, so, so do I have to call you back or how does this work? Um, I'm going to call you back within four to five minutes, two hours from now. Two hours from now? No, one within four to five minutes to one hour. Oh, from 45 now. minutes to an hour? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, but... Uh... Um, I, I have an important appointment with my doctor at, in that time period. Um, uh, can, uh, what you need to do, what, what I, and I can't miss my doctor. doctor's appointment because I have no, the gout and the flout and I have to take, go get the, the x-ray and the MRI for the gout flout that I, I, I uh, got because I, I've been eating too much shrimp. And I got the gout float. Um, but I, I can't miss this appointment because I'm in a lot of pain. Now, listen to what you need to do. When you get back from your doctor appointment, you call Mr. Anderson and he will have all the necessary information because I'm going to have all the information <coughs> being sucked over to his front desk, okay? Okay, but I, 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 wish, I wish I could call you back. and I'm so excited. I, I, I don't know what to do. Um, okay, I'm, yeah. I, I'm going to be so excited when I go to my doctor's appointment for my gout flout. Um, yeah. And remember, remember, keep your business confidential. Don't let no one in your business. And when you get back home, you give us back a call, okay? Okay, 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 David. And, and call, I'm sorry, what was the first man's name that I need to reach again? Mr. David Anderson. David Anderson. And you're David Sawyer? Yeah. Anderson. Okay, okay, David. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't believe this has happened. I, it'll be very hard. It'll be so hard for me to keep this confidential. Uh, but I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Okay, okay. I, 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 I will call you back probably in about two and a half hours. Okay, all right. And God bless you in your journey now. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. David. I, I, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I will call you back. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. I won the money. I won the money and so much money and five five thousand dollars a week. I can't believe it. And a car. Oh, I can't wait to call him back. But I got to go to the doctors for my gout flout. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you in a little while for part two. Welcome back, everybody. I came back from my, uh, my fout gout appointment or gout flout or whatever. Yeah, my gout flout. That was it. Doctor gave me some medicine. And we'll, uh, we'll heal up good. So let's call Mr. Scammer back and see about our $2.5 million. Oh, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Is this Mr. David, David Anderson? Yes, this is Mr. David Anderson. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, hi. This is Haywood Jablomi calling back. Um, uh, I, I came back from my appointment, and Mr. David Sawyer um, said to contact you, and you would put me back in touch with him? Okay. All right. Please hold on the line. Oh, okay. <sighs> yes, hello? Yes, hello. Is this Mr. David Sawyer? Yes, and how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. This is this is Haywood Jablomi calling back. Okay, my brother. And how was your doctor appointment? Uh, yeah, I went in for the gout flout, and he gave me some medication, and uh, it should clear up in a couple of days. It just happens because sometimes I eat the wrong foods, and um, it, it you know it's it's yeah I gotta stop eating some of the wrong foods and get more healthy. But this me this yeah. this good fortune and this money is going to help me i'll go to the gym i'll work out you know and you need to because especially when you're getting age 
you have to be careful what you eat, you know? Oh, yes, I know. I, I'm fi I'm 53 years old, and, uh, and uh, I, I've lived a pretty hard life, and... Um, like I said, I got injured in my last job. Uh, um, yeah, I was a slip. I was a slip knob operator in the slip knot factory, and um, I had an accident on the uh, w the the Hujima what's its machine there. Um, but anyways, that's that's neither here nor there. So what do I? What? what, what how, how? How? How is this going to work? Going to work? All right, because what has been done. We get all the facts and all the necessary information from the IRS. And they did want you, um, they were saying that you did have to pay um, $1,200 up front. But I talked to them, I told them about your situation and what you're being through. So what you're saying that the only thing is going to be required for you so you could have your delivery being done for you tomorrow, it is for you to come up with $625. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I have to come up with $625? Yeah, and what I want you to understand as well, when the deliver guys get over there tomorrow, they're going to also have it be reimbursed back to you. Because Mr. David Anderson also have all of the information to provide to you with the merchant banker and how you're going to go aboard to have the payment being done, okay? Um, oh, okay, I guess because I mean I'm getting such a large amount of money that that shouldn't be a problem. O okay, so um, what do I do next? Uh, he's going to provide you with the merchant banker where you're going to have $625 being paid to and he would let you know how you're going to have the payment being done, okay? Um, o okay. All right. Because I just have all the information being sent over there and his deck and his computer. Because remember, he's your agent. He's the one who's fully responsible to make sure you receive your fraud. Oh, okay. All right. So let me have the call being put back to you over there to him. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. And I hope when you receive this money, you put it to good use and you enjoy your life. Oh my God! You make, sure you, you make sure you stick to your diet, and you also make sure you have vacation and you eat what is right. Okay? Well, yes, because I mean, I, I I have some grandchildren, and this is going to help with their education. Praise be to God. God bless you, my brother. Thank you. And continue to trust and believe in the Lord, because He's oh, I do. working for you. Uh, I do, yes. Oh, yes, I, I do. I, we have a great pastor at my church. Okay. All righty. And uh, you have talked to my, uh, to my manager. Uh, I was talking with Mr. David Sawyer. Yes, yeah. it's Dave Sawyer. Oh, I'm sorry, Dave I'm Sawyer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, what I have here on the desk for you, he told you how much you were supposed to take care of? Um, I think he said $650. Yes. All right. So uh, now this is going to be done real quickly because what happened is uh, you have to have a receipt under your name stating that uh, you are the beneficiary. And when the deliver guys come over to you, they are going to stamp that receipt as to you receive in your package. It's gonna prove that you receive your package and it's also gonna prove that your package is insured and it's registered under the government, okay? Okay. Right, so once you make this payment, you're gonna keep that receipt until the deliver guys arrive at your address for <coughs> tomorrow. So uh, once you have this done, they could be, if you can have this done today, they will have be there by the latest uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's 10 a.m. Yeah, I, I figured right. that. Yeah. So, will you be available to claim it for 10 a.m.? Oh, you bet! You, you bet! I, I'm I'm so excited! I I I don't know what to do. It it's so hard not to tell anybody. He said to keep well, everything confidential. Know. Yeah, because what happened is, uh, why you have to keep everything confidential is for the safety of the delivery team and yourself. 
Because as much as how you're excited, when you tell someone else, they're going to get excited. You might tell them not to tell anyone. And before you know it, your whole community knows, and it may reach to the wrong persons. And when it reaches the wrong persons, they may want to come and either rob us on the road, try to rob us, because we know how to protect ourselves. But we want to we wanna keep ourselves from all those bad energies. Do you understand? Yes, I, yes, I do. Uh, I, 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 I see what you mean because someone might jump out of the the bushes and steal the money and Correct. and, and run plan. run away and. All right. Uh, I wouldn't want about. that to happen. Uh, my All safety right. is first between me and my family. You know. That's correct. I do understand. I'm glad you understand what I'm where we're coming from, because the reason mm. why we have gone through this before, where uh, winners are uh, put their business published, and it end up uh, there's a lot of things go down where they 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 package delayed. They did get it because uh, it was insured, but it was delayed, and they almost didn't get it. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want delays. Did. And not getting. Should I buy a gun? I wonder if I should buy a gun. Should I buy a gun? If you should buy a gun, yeah, but you don't have to because listen, you don't have to because listen, you're licensed and that's why we want your package to be in your in the safety of your bank before anyone if you before you can tell who you want to tell. That means if it even get out, it's gonna be too late because it's already in your bank account. We want when we're moving around with uh, your check and your car and so forth, we don't want to uh, get jack or something like that, okay? No, I would not like to get jack, that's for sure. Right. Yeah, so jacking can be sure dangerous. You could die if you jack too much. Right, right. So that's why we keep, we make sure that our winners uh, kept their business private until their money is safely in their account. Then they can tell. Who but it's just so hard not right? to. It's just so hard not to tell my my partner wife. You just, you just have all right. You just have until tomorrow. When you. When no, you but when I when I go to bed tonight with 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 my wife, it's. Do you know how hard it's going to be to to keep no, this a all secret? Right, listen, when you get the receipt, when you get the receipt, and tonight you could go ahead and explain to your wife that's the night when you're going to bed you can surprise her and let her know that you're going to be getting your delivery 10 o'clock in the morning okay i mean it's going to change her life so much because then she can stop working at the laundromat as a as a dryer checker it's not easy to be a dryer checker it's a very hot job you know and know. and I know. She I got know. one time she got stuck in the dryer and then the dryer turned on and she went around and around and around and the one of the other people that was working at the laundromat had to save her. I mean, it was it was excruciating, you know. She had bruises and bumps all over her and I don't want to see that happen that, again. I want to give I want to give her a good life away from the dryers, you know. Well, you're going to you're going to be able to. So what I want you to do, uh, do you know where the Walmart is? Oh, yeah, we have a Walmart. Yes, what, what does Walmart have to do with this? That's where you're going to go to pick up the receipt. Pick up the receipt. How far is the Walmart away from you? Um, I don't know, about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you the merchant banker information, so you will need to get yourself a pen and a paper. Okay, hold on. I got, I got a pen and a paper right here. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The name is Evelyn. 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 That's E V E. E V E. L Y N E. L Y N E. Okay. And the last thing, okay. So she works at the Walmart. No, she doesn't work at the Walmart. That's the billing. That's the billing place you're gonna use to get your reference number and plus your receipt, which you're gonna that receipt you're gonna keep at your home, okay. So who is Evelyn? 
Okay, I'm confused. It's the merchant banker for the. Oh, a merchant banker. Okay. Yeah. That that's the that's the merchant banker that will be taking care of your paperwork, so that everything will be registered under the government and also insured. Okay. Okay. Right. So, uh, and that's North Carolina. The state North, North Carolina. Carolina? Yeah. So okay. When you go down there, you're going to do a Walmart to Walmart transfer for $625. Okay. A Walmart to Walmart transfer? Yes, for $625. I I, know, I don't know how I don't know how to do that. What what is that? You're just you're just gonna tell him that you need to do a Walmart to Walmart transfer for six hundred dollars, six hundred and twenty five dollars. That's where you're gonna make the payment, and they're gonna provide you with your receipt. As soon as you get your receipt in your possession, you're gonna call us. Let us know that you you have your receipt, so that we can make you delivery first thing in the morning, ten o'clock okay um okay but i'm i'm still confused um, tell me what are you confused about please? well you said it's a so walmart to walmart walmart to walmart transfer and it's going or, to and it's going to an evelyn in north carolina that's correct um which walmart is it going to it doesn't matter because it's not definitely going to a person, it's just what the system requires. So once it goes to North Carolina, it doesn't matter which one of the Walmart because it's uh, it's not definitely going to a person for the system and so it has to be who goes, the merchant banker. Name. Who goes to pick up the money, the Evelyn Evelyn is the one that's dealing with all your people. She's the re so she's is the she that... like the receiver? She's the recipient, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she's the one that is she's the one that will be taking care of all your paperwork and so forth. So that means uh they will fax that to us by the first thing several o'clock in the morning we will we may we may get your all your documents so that we can make your delivery by 10 o'clock all right okay well it's going to take me some time now to go there and come back and do this transaction well all you have to do just take your time my friend i told you you're in good and trustworthy hands and you have nothing to worry about and your life i guarantee your life will be changing right before your eyes Oh, I and mean, I, even I believe when you. Your money, even when your money reach in your hands, your check, and you get your contract for your five thousand dollars every week, and even when you drive in your new car, you're still gonna have to pinch yourself to think it's well, because I, you're still gonna think it's a dream. Well, the thing is, I, I still have to raise the six hundred and fifty dollars. I have like four hundred dollars in my bank account, and I gotta somehow. And borrow or something the other well, 250 what so what you can do you can even take it off your credit card um i i guess so because i'm getting the money right back i don't uh, yeah, yeah i guess i guess i could do that yes because you're getting your money you said that that is for your emergency this is yeah. an emergency because yeah i guess i guess i can do that yeah and you don't have to use your credit card for emergency anymore. You're going to be a rich man, so you're oh, going to I, be a millionaire. So, I, I'm so excited. Uh, you don't have to be worrying about, say, like, you got to stop think as a poor person now, my friend. You're a rich person, so you need to start think that way. You, there's no more emergency there's an emergency that your bills will be no I, I i forgot i i i forgot yeah, i i yeah. had the credit card. That that's okay. It's okay. okay. I, I forgot. Okay. So uh, and please, when even when if you when you go down there, you don't let the uh, the Walmart know about your business because if they know about your business, they will charge you more than a substantial amount that you're supposed to pay. They're gonna charge you like a millionaire. Okay, so you no, don't tell I, them I won't about say your anything. Business. 
okay? So you just go down there and tell them that you need to do a Walmart to Walmart transfer for $625. When you do so, you just call us back, let us know that. Okay. And if they ask you any questions, what are you going to tell them? I don't think they're going to ask me any questions, but, uh, you know. Sometimes um, they can be nosy, okay? Yeah, I can tell you that. I have to because hurry up because the lockdown is coming soon. We have curfew. We have curfew, yeah, so, so I, I right, have to so hurry. You know, if, they, if they ask you, just tell them that it's your cousin just to get them out of your business and you know the person. That's all. All right? Um, okay, like I said, I never did this before, I, I so, oh, okay, yeah, it's okay. okay. It's a, you just go down there and just, uh, they, they're not supposed to be in your business, just go down there, have it done, and get back and call me before the lockdown, because we need to, that's why we need to be over there very early tomorrow, because we know that a lockdown comes soon. Yeah. All right, so go and have it done. Okay. Get back home and call me, please. Uh, oh, okay, uh, I'm sorry, what's your name again? David Anderson. Oh, you're David Anderson. All right, because you keep going yeah. back and forth Mr. to Dave Sawyer. Remember, so. Oh, okay. Mr. remember Mr. Dave Sawyer put you back through to me. Yeah, oh, okay, so, great. Yeah, but, and I'm uh, your agent. I have to make sure that you're back. Oh, oh okay, okay, Mr. Anderson. I, I'll talk to you shortly. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Well... Got to go to Walmart and get some sort of receipt for a transfer to Miss Evelyn. Uh, so bad I would love to find who is playing Evelyn because they'd be obviously picking up this money here in the States. And that's pretty scary. That we have mules working for these pieces of shit right here in the United States willing to pick up the money for these people that don't live in the United States. Um, and this also happens with the Indian scams. Unfortunately, there are mules and, and, and people working with them right here in the, in the States. And uh, romance scams also have people working that are in the states and it's a scary thing okay let me figure out how i'm going to handle this next part thank you very much for hanging and listening bye bye okay everybody it's been about an hour i'm going to give him a call back and throw a little stick into the spokes and see what happens here we go Hello? Yes, hello, Mr. Anderson? No, this is Mr. Dave Sawyer. Oh, oh, Mr. Sawyer, hi, this is Haywood Jablomi calling back? Yes. Um, th th there's been a problem, there's been a problem. I, I, I went to the Walmart, and um, yeah. when I went to uh, to the, the, the Walmart to Walmart, I guess that goes through MoneyGram? Yeah. And and there was an issue with the computer system, and it, they were trying yeah. to fix it. And uh, I waited and waited and waited, and and it, it they they couldn't fix it. I'm very I'm very nervous on what to do. I, I left my telephone at home, so I didn't have your phone number. Um, wow! Because I would tell you to use the Western Union. Oh. Uh, I, I I don't know anything about these services, sir. I've never used them before. Um, yeah, the Washington Union and the MoneyGram, they actually the same. When you go there, you just tell them that you want to do a transfer. Then they will ask you for the information you provide it to them, and then they have it done and give you the receipt. No. Oh, well, I understand that, but the, but the system was down, sir. It was down. Um, uh, and, you don't know, and you don't know where the Western Union is? No, sir. It, it, it's 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 after six p.m. Everything is closing closed now. It, it's it's curfew time. Um, All right. The, the word is I don't that. know what I to do. 
All right, you just have to wait till until in the morning you have it being done first thing, okay? Oh, oh okay, so so I, I should call you in the morning? Yeah, because Mr. David Anders is going to call you back in an hour from now. He's attending a meeting now. Oh, yes. So, um, so I won't be receiving calls because I am going to be with my partner and we have special time tonight, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, all right. So, so, call, so call, Mr. call Mr. David first thing in the morning when you're by yourself, okay? I, I, I will, Mr. Sawyer. I will. And, I, and I'll try my best to keep this confidential. It's... It's very hard, very yeah. hard. I know, I know, but don't let the cause of your mouth are because you cannot cap your secret, something bad happened, and we don't want any delay in your price. So I'm just asking you to no, do what is right. I, okay? I, I don't want to delay you at all. I, I, I don't yeah. want that. Okay, I will do my okay. best, and I will, I will call um, Mr. Anderson in the morning, first thing in the morning. Awesome. Okay. All right, okay. God bless you now. Yeah, good night, sir. Good night. God bless to you, too. Okay, all right. All right, bye-bye. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Is this is this Mr. Anderson? Yes, sir. Hi, Mr. Anderson. This is Haywood hey, blow me calling back. Yes, I know it's you. I know your voice, my friend. Uh, good morning. I hope you slept well today. I'm very excited. Um, I slept well because I'm I'm excited that you're going to be receiving your package today. Oh, uh, me too, me too, Mr. Anderson. Um, so I I I need to go back to the wall Walmart, or did you say something about a Western Union? Uh, just try back the Walmart. Is the cell phone you have? Um, yes. Okay, so just try the Western the Walmart and. When you try to Walmart, if the system is not back up, call me when you get outside and let me know. Okay. okay? Instead and of coming home. Let me just make sure I have it correct. Uh, it's Evelyn. E V E L Y N E. No, it's no E. L Y N. Oh, L Y N. Okay. North Carolina. Right, and that's okay. And it's 625. Okay, I, I I will call you back in a little while, Mr. Anderson. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye. Hello. Good huh? morning. Good morning, Mr. Anderson. This is Haywood Jablomi calling back? Yes. Um, yes, hi. I, I, I went into the, the Walmart and um, I went in there to make the payment at the uh, it's it's a money gram that they deal with. They deal with money gram. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, yes, I, I went to make the payment and uh, per new regulations, I have to read a um, a warning list of. I don't know, it's some new regulations that they're doing because they're trying to stop scammers. And mm -hmm. one of scammers, and ha I, I don't know anything about this, but I, I had to fill out this this form. And on this form, it says um, if I was to be winning a prize that this is fraud and I'm not to send the money. Uh, no, I'm we're very, the one I'm very that, concerned, sir. Okay, listen, we're the one that uh, uh, asked them to put those things up because what I'm going to have to do also, I'm going to have to give you a code uh, which you will go by because there are some unscrupulous guys going around trying to manipulate our winners. So I understand everything that you, you, you tell me, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, okay? Yes, but okay. you're in good hands, as I told you. Everything is on the up and up very nervous i mean they showed me many examples and... oh my goodness you don't need to be because you don't need to be because you are on the up and up and everything is on the up and up for you you are aware and all we need to do is just for you to get the receipt so that we can get your prize over to you in the morning yes okay uh, i i really want to be on the I, I really want to be on the up and up you know you are on the up and up my friend Okay. I mean, there's so they showed I me so many different people, 
And they said also that they that they place a 48 hour hold on any monies that is sent. Uh, well, obviously, someone it seemed like someone uh, got down there. So what? That's what they are told. That's what they told you. Yes, yes, it was all on the the uh, the the paper that they made me read because they have to make me read it and sign it and make sure and i didn't say anything sir i didn't say anything this is what they showed me all right listen what happened is it seemed like something went down down there so that's what why they may be behaving like that uh what you could do you could just go over to the western union and have it taken care of okay western union Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, Do you know where the Western? Well, I'm. I'll. I'll look that up on my phone, and I will find uh, the local Western Union. There should be one All around right, here. Have... Okay, because I want the delivery guys to be there by ten o'clock. Okay. Oh, I don't know if that'll happen. That's only oh, yeah. fourteen minutes away. Um. Okay. Let Let oh, me Let so... me find a Western Union, and, and I will call you right back. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Thank you for your patience. You're welcome. You're okay. welcome, my friend. Okay, bye-bye. And I can't wait to see you. Okay, thank you. Me too. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. So you see how they tried to turn it, even though you tell them that you got the warning, and they try to reassure you and say that somebody went down there and they they put up these warnings and... You see how they prey on uh, a little bit of, I wouldn't say a weak-minded person, but someone who's a little bit naive on these scams and what to do. So we will make him wait a little bit longer, and we will get to a Western Union. Okay, until the next chapter. Hello? Uh, uh, Yes, hello, Mr. Anderson? Yes. Did Hi. you find the location? Hi. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. This is Haywood Jablomi calling. Um, yes, I know it's you. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry. Did you find yes. The location? Uh, yes, I did. I I went into the MoneyGram location, and I I told the clerk that I would like to send six hundred and fifty dollars to Evelyn in North Carolina, and they said that would be no problem. But I I. I had to fill out a form, a, a, a form before yes, they would take the money. Yes, and, a, no, you will just have to look at the form and fill it out. Did well, you, yes, you, yes. Um, I'm uh, gonna give you the, I'm gonna give you the street address. Can you read text messages? Um, uh, yes, but uh, I need to finish my statement first, sir. Um, the the form, the form that they w- were saying that I had to fill out. Um, was a form saying that I, 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 that they don't take payments to any government or any prizes or anything like that. And I had to write a, 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 and say that I'm not sending money and I'm not going to get, I mean, for a prize. They said that this, uh, on the form that it, it, it's fraudster, fraudster work. And if I sign my name, um, I might get in trouble. Uh, no, you can't. Listen, I told you we're the one that put up that stipulation, and that's why they don't want. Because if if you if you when you send the money and you don't and you don't sign it, if they know that definitely you are going to be sending it, and they know that it's for government they're going to charge you way more that's what i'm saying to you no so you don't have to watch that they, they said other they showed other like scams like something with like microsoft computers uh uh large prizes that are that you have to pay ahead of time they called it advanced free advanced fee fraud or something and I'm very, I'm getting very nervous, Mr. Anderson, very nervous here. Miss, and I told you, Mr. Haywood, all I'm saying is that you just give me that 1% that of your trust and you will see that this is real and this is not a gimmick or a joke. We are the one that put that stuff up, so you don't have to pay it no mind. Uh, we have, 
we have uh, winners go to make payments there at those places all the time, and they get to receive their prize. And even today, they are still calling us to thank us. So I'm saying you don't have to pay all of those stuff, no man. It's because you're doing it the first time. That's why you feel so nervous. So I'm saying everything is already up and up for you. So all you have to do is just to fill out the part where they're putting your, the Mr. Mistress Evelyn as the receiver, and you put your name as the sender. And you just sign it up and have it taken care of and get your receipt so we can get your prize over to you. Okay, no, I, I understand that, but there's so many warning signs saying that this is yes, not there's legitimate. Going to be a lot of warning signs. It's been there for years, over years. It's been there. You know, but, so you don't have to worry but about. But it says those never, signs. never. It said to never pay money up front for any kind of prize. It says that that's a scam. Um, Remember, I, I told you that. We're the one that put those up because they had some unscrupulous people that is going around trying to manipulate our company. That's why we had to force to do such. Okay. Yeah, so I don't. Want, I don't want to be around unscrupulous people. Yeah. Right. So um, and when you send this, I'm gonna also give you a security code. All right. So have it sent. Let we get this part out of out of the way, so we can get your prize over to you. I'm going to text you the address, okay? Um, okay. Don't worry, Mr. Airwood. I promise you, you won't regret this. I promise okay. you that. Okay. All right? Okay. Just keep your business private and everything's on you up and up for you. I'm going to text you the rest of the information uh, where you're going to make the payment at the Western Union, okay? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll be awaiting your text. Okay. Okay. Um, I hope Google Voice texts. I don't know if they text. Does Google Voice text? I don't think it does. Does it? I think it does. Maybe send new message. Oh, well, let's see what happens here. All righty, everybody. Until the next installment. Hello. Yes, hello, Mr. Anderson. This is Haywood Jablomi calling back. Okay. Um, I'm in the money transfer office right now, at the money at the uh, Western Union, and um, the 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 Western Union agent. She's very nice. Uh, she would like to talk to you uh, to go over this because I'm very confused. So I'm gonna pass you over to the agent right now. That way. You can talk to her about about where I'm very confused here. I've never done this before. No, listen, listen. Go outside. Go outside. Call from David Anderson. To accept, press one. Uh, hello, this is Hey, would you blow me, Mr. Anderson? Yes, I was trying to call you, and you was trying to call me. Yeah, I so I, I got disconnected. The the woman here just wanted to go over something about a test yes, question and an answer. Let, so she's let right here. If you'd like to talk to her. Yes, let me. All talk right, hold on a minute. Hello, this is Miss Smith. I am the manager here at the Western Union. Mm -hmm. um, I have a couple of questions here. Um, the address that Mr. Jablomi wants to send is, let's see here, uh, Evelyn, and that was at 1 North Carolina. Is this correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I have a test question and answer. If you would write this down, please. Go ahead. Uh, the question is, who wrote the book Yellow River? Go ahead. The answer is... I P daily. It's I dot P dot daily. D A I L Y. Go 
Could you could you do that again? Yes, the test question is Who wrote the book Yellow River? Who wrote the book Yellow River? I know it sounds strange, but we have to do this for security purposes. Okay. And the answer is IP Daily. It's I dot P dot Daily. D A I L Y. IP Daily? Yes, U P Daily, yes. Spell the daily again. D A I L Y. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, where did he go? Oh, he must have stepped out for a juice. Okay, Mr. An uh, Anderson, okay. let's see. So this is going to Evelyn. You have the test question. Um, where did he go? I think he stepped out to go to the vending machine. Um, this is uh, not... Uh, okay, uh, can I have another question to ask you? Sir? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, he came in concerned. He did not want to fill out the form. Uh, we have a scam and fraud report form, and he had a hard time filling it out. He did not want to sign his name. And usually in these cases, um, they're, they're hiding something. So I've been working here for a long time. I've been working here for about 15 years, and I've seen many people come in and go. So... Um, did he win a prize, or is he paying for something ahead of time, sir? No, it's nothing like that. Okay, well, I, I, I think it is. And he's sending $650, correct? Uh, 625 I'm sorry, 625 625 right. Okay. Well, I'll make a deal with you. It's very hard living in America right now because of the lockdown and the COVID. Um, how about this? How about this? We know that he's not going to get any prizes. We know that. No, he's not paying for a prize. He's not no, so for what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you $200, okay? And I am going to keep $425, okay? And we're going to tell him he's not. that he's going to get his prize tomorrow. And we know he's not going to get his prize. So I'm going to send no, you $200. You're, you're, you're no, sir, other... sir. It's either that or I tell him. I know. So I'm going to send you $200 so you can get some food to eat. Okay? Because I know you're hungry. And I'm going to keep $425 for my troubles. Okay? We make a deal. Right? All right, let me let me talk back to him, please. Oh, he went outside for a juice. Okay. I'm waiting for him to come back to the office. All right. So when he gets back, or uh, just so, have him call me, okay? Yes. Uh, well, it's either we Go make a deal now. Me. It's either we make a deal. Go ahead and do. Or I tell him that he's not going to get a prize. But I'm not telling him I, he's not paying for a prize. That's he what is, I'm saying. I know, uh, I know the scam. Uh, this is how I make money. I make money on the side because I know. So I will send you $200. And I will keep $425. And we will tell him he's going to get his prize. And he will go home and not know any difference. And you don't have to respond to him anymore. We have a deal? Go ahead and do what you're doing. Okay, so I am going to uh, get the $200 sent to Evelyn. You have the test question and answer. And I will keep the 425 and I will tell him everything is all set and I will give him the MTCN number. Okay? Okay. That way you get some money and I get some money. Okay? Okay. Okay, Mr. Anderson. Very nice doing business with you. He will call you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Chop, chop, chop. Hello? Hi, Mr. Anderson. This is Hey, would you blow me? Um, I got the MTCN number. Um, she was very nice. She got it all done very quick. So I, I have the... Where, where did you went to? The Western Union. Western Union. No, I'm asking you, where did you go, go to just not too long? Oh, I went out for a juice. I was very thirsty. I went to get a, a juice at the vending machine. An apple juice. Right, so I was that, very thirsty. So if I did, okay, that's fine. So I got the so MTCN number from her now. She said that she went over the text question with you and answer and all that stuff. She was very helpful and filled out the form. I was not good at filling out the form and stuff. So she filled okay. it out for me, which was very kind of her. Right. So I have the MT. She said I have to give you an MTCN number or something? Yeah, provide me with it. Okay, it's uh it's ten digits here. Wait a minute. Um uh three two eight seven one zero three four one. Oh I'm so I'm so looking forward to it. To getting this prize, it's changing my life. I'm, I'm so glad. Repeat it again. Repeat it. Uh, three Repeat two it. eight seven one zero three two four one seven di ten digits. Okay. All right. So, uh, what I want you to do now, I want you to. Go home and call me, okay? Okay. Okay. And we'll make the rest when of the arrangements. Home, yes, when you reach home, you call me. Okay, Mr. Anderson, thank you so much. I'm so excited now. Oh, I'm so glad that we have this part all taken care of already. I, I had a hard time sleeping last night with my wife next to me to tell her the good news. Okay. Everything is going to be okay, my friend. Okay, okay. I'll call you when I get home. It'll be about 20, 25 oh. minutes. All right, bye -bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Did I really chop his dollar? And did he really fall for it? Because he's going to say the MTCN number is not right. Well, we'll see. Till the next time. Hello? Uh, hi, Mr. Anderson. This is Hey, Would You Blow Me calling back. Okay. Uh, I'm home now. Right. I, I just got home. Okay. I want you to look at the receipt that you have and tell me what you see on it. On the receipt. Hold on. I, I have to get it. Hold on, please. Uh, Western Union receipt, and then the tracking number is on the top, uh, 328-710-3241 is the number right, what that I, I said I do, have to you, give. All right, what I want you to do, I want you to take a picture of the receipt and send to me. A picture of, why, why, why would I have to do that? Yes, I want because I'm not seeing the transaction, so I want to make sure uh, what type of transaction that you yeah, did. Yeah, Western Union money. Money, Graham, take a picture of the receipt. Uh, I guess I could do that. Just take it in a text message, same like how you would text me, and send it in a text message. Um, Please, so I can look at it. Uh, did you see money in minutes or next day service on there? No, it says money in minutes. Okay. Well, I want you to, and how much money did you send? Uh, $625. All right. So take a picture of the receipt and send to me, please. And what did the lady said to you? No, she just gave me the receipt and um, said that we're all set and that was it. She was very nice and got it done quickly and...
she said that she, there was a test question and answer that's all that that's all she said all right so just take a picture of it and 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 so i can look at it and see what what and then you call me back okay um okay this is going to take a couple of minutes uh, okay okay please. all right Yes, hello. Uh, hello. This is Haywood Jablomi calling back. Yes. Um, I, I sent the receipt. You sent it? Yes. Yes. Okay. That was the receipt she gave me. Uh, but uh, uh, the thing is, is, I'm not seeing it in the system. Oh no. You're not. I I don't know what the. I I don't know what you mean by that. I, I... No, just hold on. Just hold on. Okay. I'm trying to figure out something. Here. Okay. Uh, because I need to just know that if there is a delay on the transaction uh what you could do could you take the bottom off of the receipt so i can see it well they they, they said there's what? going to be a 48 uh, hour because of fraudsters and hackers a 48 hour delay oh it's a 40 yes it, they, that's the new policy they said that they put into place because they've had a lot of um uh, uh, uh she said nigerian scams and jamaican scams and indian scams so yeah, that's those why they the put that, that was other scams that i think that i told they you said they they put they put a a a 48 hour hold um, um i don't know how this works i've never done this before the woman helped me out well, I, don't I don't know worry, don't worry i just wanted to uh confirm that okay uh, all right so uh the reason the reason why they put the hold on it so i'm gonna to have to process it so it may take a little bit longer so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna to try to see if i could get them to speed it up so let me just call you back in about five to ten minutes so i'm gonna contact the irs and call you back okay oh, oh okay mr anderson thank you uh, i'm looking forward uh, i hope i can get my get it today i'm i want to tell yes, my wife i want to tell my family i want to tell everybody i'm gonna do it I'm I'm gonna do everything in my power to try and make sure that you 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 get it okay. today. Okay. Okay. So Thank all you. I need from you is just your cooperation. All right. Bye. Yes, I'm I'm doing everything possible. I'm, I'm everything I can do. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, he's gonna speed it up, right? He's gonna do some checking. Just to let you guys know, I did contact the police in um, North Carolina on this address that he gave me and name. So I will have to, uh, hopefully they can figure something out. Maybe she's a mule, maybe she's involved, but at least maybe I can help out in some way, shape or form of uh, if this is a, you know, an innocent person or a mule in that the address they gave me so stay tuned yes hello mr anderson yeah hi this is haywood jablomi calling back yes i know it's you uh, oh i'm sorry um yes there, um I, I i i have to go my my wife called me from the laundromat and said there was another another dryer incident down there and i have to go pick her up so um, I, it'll take me about forty-five minutes to go and get her and come back. Uh, she's she got. So you, have, you have to take her, take her, take her home. Yes, I have to go take her home because there was another dryer incident. She got sucked in a little bit, and uh, she was on. It was on fluff and tumble, and I had to get her. And she just wants to come home. So I I I'll um I'll be home in forty-five minutes. 
Okay, and remember, don't tell her until you're... you're, you're no, 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 I'm just concerned. I'm just be current, concerned because the suck factor of the dryer. If if she goes through it again, there's going to be problems, and I don't want to have problems with the company. So I'll... Um, okay. 45 minutes, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. All right, all right. By okay. that time, I will have everything ready for you. All right, I'll call and you as soon as I get back. Do you have an email address? Uh, I'm sorry? Do you have an email address? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I, I have an email address. Text me, text me your email address right away. Um. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Um. Text, text I, I, it on my phone. I can do that before I leave. Okay. I'll do that before yes, I leave. Yeah. Do that before you leave. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank All you. right. Bye. <laughs> she had another dryer incident. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's so funny. They don't listen to anything. Okay, I'll send them an email address. Hello? Hello, Mr. Anderson. This, this is Hey, Would You Blow Me calling back. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going inside of a meeting right now. So I would have to call you back in the next hour, Okay. In the next hour. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be awaiting your call. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. He's probably busy scamming somebody else. The background sounds like he's in a room with another person on the phone. Heard some phone phones ringing also. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Um, yes, hello, Mr. Anderson. Uh, this is Haywood hey, Jablow me calling. Um, uh, I was calling you back in an hour. I'm having a hard time keeping this from my wife because, because you know, you told me not to say anything, and, and she's home now, and I didn't expect her to be home now, and... Uh, I, I have to, like, go into the garage or go down the basement whenever I want to call, and that's suspicious. Can you please call me back as soon as you can? Okay, uh, I'm going to go back upstairs and tend to her dryer wounds. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, that was the end of the scam bait. I sent him some fake online receipts. Um... And that was it. I don't think he he said in his last call that he'd call me back in an hour. Well, he never did. Wah, 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 wah. So, I let him on for a while. Hope you enjoyed it. And watch out for those dryers in the laundromat. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.